Hey everyone, if this looks familiar, I'm back at what was once Kmart and then and then became Gordman's and Hobby Lobby. And then Gordman's closed. But let's see how it looks. Like I think like a year later. Yeah, permanently closed. Oh look, there's a bill in there. The Kmart vent in there, yeah, the ceiling tiles are beginning to fall in there. This does not look yeah, that did not look like it was locked. The chains are gone. Still locked. Yeah, as you can tell, this is the brickwork here. This is pretty common on Kmart's now. I don't remember what was right there, but whatever's there, that's closed. And the Sears that was down there that I filmed, like, months ago, like a long time ago, it's now boarded up, so people have clearly been breaking in there. Now... When Gordman's was open here, the garden center was, like, packed full of fixtures. I don't know if they were from, like, Kmart or something, I don't know. But this clearly proves what was once here. You can clearly see where the, um, auto center was. Um, I would really like to see what's going on in the old auto center. But, the, but from what the cracks look like, that look like you can see into the building, it clearly d doesn't look like there's lights on in there. And that steel rod is where it would say Garden and Auto. Oh, why not? I don't even know why I tried. Oh, so look inside. What does it look like in there, guys? Some of these windows look like they're blown out. Yeah, there's some clo store closing signs in there. Clearly look like they were from Kmart. Now, there's some store fixtures there. I don't know if they're from Kmart or something, but I don't know. But anyways, guys, yeah, that's really going to be it. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.